They will solve the Pyrigan 360 puzzle by John Pyrigan. This is a very solid aluminum puzzle. It is a limited edition of 100 copies. And the goal is to extract the blue sphere out of the whole puzzle. This puzzle is very tactile, it's heavy, it feels good in your hands, and very fun to play with. This puzzle was made in 2018, I believe, and is not available today for sale. And let's start solving the Purigan 360 puzzle. And the prize is this beautiful tiny sphere inside the puzzle. Also, I've read a little bit about the designer, Purigan. He says that for him it's very important that the puzzle will not use any force to solve and also that you can see the solution once you solve the puzzle, which means that you can see how the mechanism works and such. So overall, this sounds really interesting. Let's start the timer. First of all, you see holes, one from each side, and you can see seams. This seam goes here, here, and then moves back to the other side. And it looks like the seam is continuous, which means that this piece and this piece are separate. I can also hear a lot of things inside. There's definitely a ball bearing, maybe even more than one. Maybe spin it like this. What if this sphere has a hole somewhere in the middle? Or maybe a magnet? The stuff inside that move. A lot of things actually move. And most of the things moving are probably here. Maybe I can push the sphere to one of the directions to maybe activate a button. There's a ball bearing inside somewhere and it rotates around something. Maybe screw it somehow. Do I have sliding tiles somewhere? It looks like there's a seam here and maybe I can slide this somewhere. Huh. Although it doesn't make much sense, I think it might be possible. I mean, there is a seam. It's almost seamless, but there is a seam. Try to push here on the side. Ooh, yeah, hold the holes and then start pulling to different directions. I mean, it doesn't make much sense that the spin move would be it. I can open these slightly and I can see some things inside, but I'm not sure what are those things. From what I can see, you know, there are two pieces, right? Inside each piece is a smaller square, a smaller box. So I believe that in the end, the pieces will go outside in these directions. That's what it looks like. That means that we need to disable some locks. These locks are probably what we hear. Seems like there's slightly more give here now on the logo side. Let's call this the text side and this is logo. There's so many things going on. I can maybe try to draw something. When I hold both pieces, the ball bearing can spin quite easily. But when I only hold the upper piece, no, it can still spin quite easily. And here's the logo of here again. What if I take this logo and I put it right beneath the real logo. Let's see if this will affect something. Maybe we'll hear a magnet. Didn't hear no magnet. Nope. Three. Oh, that was more smooth. Or what? Interesting, what I need these holes for? It looks like there's no meaning for the holes. But what if there is? What if there's a button I can push with the ball? I don't think there's a button actually. I don't understand how this ball will get out of all this. From the shape of the holes, you can see that there's small cutouts inside the holes on both sides, actually. I'm trying to understand what that means. How will these two pieces fall apart. By looking at the ball now, it can be possible that these two pieces just fall apart like this, but it's not possible that they will fall apart on the seam side, here. It can be possible here, because there's no seam here, only there, but when the seam is here then it's just impossible, or seemingly impossible that these two pieces fall apart. And of course there's also the options for pulling them to 
different directions from here and here that can also work uh, maybe pulling this diagonally maybe there's some ball bearing that spins where is it i think it's on the bottom ha tricky tricky we try casually spinning the ball bearing inside like this like gradually holding the puzzle in different directions and we'll see if there's some effect on it i'm pulling and trying to move the marble Okay, it didn't work. Maybe the answer is pushing something instead. If you can see the mechanism in the end, what does it mean exactly? How can I utilize the fact that the mechanism is visible to understand how this puzzle works? What if pieces actually come apart in a coordinate motion going to the other directions? Like this actually. What if I need to push them rather than pull them? That'll be pretty cool. Also, because I hear metallic things moving, I can 100% know that this is part of the puzzle because the reward is this bow and nothing else. So these metal things moving is part of the mechanism, that's for sure. This is the reward, it's plastic. Something different is moving, that's the mechanism. It seems like the objects inside are not necessarily pins because the movement is not very smooth. Those may be coins, maybe pebbles. This could be many things. No way those are pins, right? Because just listen to this. Oh, it's interesting. In some places, it almost seems as if part of the objects are caught inside some kind of circle, which could be really cool, actually. Maybe I need to catch them somewhere. And once I do it, ha, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So one possibility is that there are holes inside this puzzle and there are objects, metal objects inside as well. But those metal objects are somewhere in between the two pieces and they prevent them from sliding apart, which means that you need to insert these objects into their respective holes and only then you can open the puzzle. Now that sounds pretty weird, pretty bizarre. I've never seen this kind of mechanism in the past. It also seems a little blind to me, but it may be possible. And if so, instead of moving the puzzle like this, I should move it like that. And then I can help the objects fall. Something just fell. It doesn't seem like there would be any sequential discovery involved in this. I want to get to the position where when I shake it, I can't really hear anything. Probably in that case, all the objects will fall to their holes and then I can open the puzzle by this theory. Maybe it's incorrect, but this is the only way to check. I feel more give now from here, a lot more give, maybe. I do something similar here, can achieve the same give. Oh wait, it's interesting because now the give I felt from here is gone. Oh man, it's a spin move. The puzzle requires a spin move for sure. No? I mean, it makes so much sense. I really hope that's not a solution, but a spin move from a specific direction might be possible. A lot of give now, a lot of it. And now no give again. This is very interesting, for sure. Like this is extremely surprising, I'd even say. Hmm. Again, I feel some give here, but how will this stop? How to stop having this give? Oh, I think I got it. I think I got one step when I move the puzzle down like that, like, this then I have the give when I switch here then there's no give anymore something doesn't make sense because again I can do it and now I can what the fuck is this thing oh maybe I need to spin it but on the side like this like that and that's why I need to hold this like that and then maybe oh Oh, no way, no way. That was the actual solution. <laughs> that was the actual solution to the puzzle. I don't believe it. That is so ingenious. Oh my God, that's brilliant. That was brilliant. Let's see. Oh no, 
ball bearing just fell and probably here there are more ball bearings here's what was inside we have four brass hexagon pins we have some holes we have ball bearings oh and we have these holes where everything was okay i'll show you everything one by one Ooh, fancy here's a dovetail here's a notch here's another dovetail and here's another notch these guys go one into another like that bam very very well made this part and this part they collide on the opposite sides and this gives some friction to all of the structure which is really brilliant and very cool these are the cuts i told you about earlier you can see that the sphere is held in another circle but something rather oval that's because the cnc machine they can only make holes from the outside so the hole was made like this and like that that is why you see these two here inside these holes you don't see it but there's a tiny hole inside and these are for the ball bearings now why are they inside this is super brilliant that's because you need to hold the puzzle in a very specific angle only after doing this you can spin it to this direction for these to fall to their places oh and now it makes sense why i heard so many ball bearings spinning that's because they spin inside the holes when the pins are locking the puzzle i have to say this is an amazing mechanism first time i see something like that of course spin move is not new but the implementation of the spin move here is just brilliant and also the fact that you need to hold the puzzle up and spin it like a propeller that is very very cool and makes these holes in the side like really really smart let's put it back together and try to make the move not as easy as it looks okay those are inside bam we'll lock the puzzle back and now it's locked as you can see i think the only way for the puzzle to open is by doing this propeller motion from both sides perhaps okay now this is open you can see this one is open i will keep this open and do the same thing here i can feel it bam yeah that's the only viable solution to this puzzle and i can say this is fantastic this is spectacular and also look at this cute little sphere in the end I always like when spheres are inside puzzles. Great prize. Overall, it took us 42 minutes, the answer to everything, and also perhaps the answer to this puzzle. We understand fully how this puzzle works. This is a work of art. The only thing I must say I didn't like is that there's a lot of wasted space on the sides, but overall, this is a very brilliantly executed puzzle. I guess that the blank space in the sides are for aesthetics, even though it could be reduced to a little smaller size, although you can see that this part and the middle part and the other part together they all are of equal length so probably that was the design idea so Pyrgon 360 is first of all brilliant and second of all solved this was pretty amazing and very nicely made i hope you enjoyed it and if you did i would really appreciate it if you smash the like button and subscribe to this channel to join the puzzle gang and get bombarded by weekly puzzle content Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.